Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on resultant of concurrent force system. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question. It is given that forces 2 Newton, 3 Newton, 4, 5 and 6 Newton respectively at one of the angular points of a regular hexagon towards the other 5 angular points taken in order. Find the resultant of the system. I will draw the diagram and explain this. Since it, the regular hexagon is given, so here it is a part of data. So it is, I am assuming that this is the angular point from which the forces are generating. So forces 2 Newton and acting towards the other angular point. So I'll just name them like for example, this is A, here we have B, C, D, E and F. So it is starting from one of the angular points that is point A and going towards the remaining angular points. So from A to B, this will be the 2 Newton force, then joining A and C. That is, it is going towards the angular points. Is 3 Newton force. Joining A and D. Then A and E. A and F. 6 Newton and it, they are acting towards all the angular points. Now, I would be finding the angle between all the forces for that, since here we have a horizontal line. The angle made by the sides of the hexagon are 60 degree with respect to horizontal. Now, since here we have a horizontal line and if I measure 60 degree angle from here, then this remaining total angle would be of 120 degree that is 180 minus 60 then since here we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 angles so 120 divided by 4 will give me the answer as 30 degree so the angle between each forces is 30 degree And since all the forces are originating or having contact with the single point that is point A, it means this is a case of concurrent force system. And now into the solution part, I would be drawing the same diagram by just drawing the forces and excluding the hexagon. And we have to find out the resultant in location and magnitude. So magnitude is R, location is theta. So that's the question in front of us. Now into the solution part. We have plus x axis, this is negative x plus y and negative y. And this is the angular point, I'll name it as point A. So 2 Newton is purely horizontal acting towards right. 3 Newton is acting at an angle of 30 degree. Now 4 Newton is acting 30 degree with respect to 3 Newton but with respect to horizontal is it is 30 plus 30 that is 60 degree. Then we have 5 Newton force acting upward. It is having total angle of 30 plus 30 plus 30 that is 90 degree. So it is purely vertical force. After that we have 6 Newton force acting at 30 degree with respect to the vertical or with respect to horizontal it is 60 we can take any one of them. So I am taking 60 degree with respect to the horizontal. So 
so these are the inclination of the respective forces now in order to find the resultant the first step would be to calculate summation of fx which is the sum of all horizontal forces in which rightward forces are taken as positive and leftward forces are treated negative so therefore summation fx would be 2 newton is purely horizontal so acting towards right then here we have all the inclined forces and remember in order to find the resultant first we need to resolve all these forces so starting with 3 newton this is at an angle of 30 degree with respect to horizontal so when i measure a line parallel to it then this component this horizontal component would be 3 cos 30 then the vertical component would be 3 sin 30 degree next 4 newton is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with respect to horizontal so horizontal component is 4 cos 60 degree vertical component 4 sin 60 degree 5 newton is a purely vertical force then we have 60 degree with respect to horizontal for this 6 kilo newton so the component parallel to the horizontal line will be 6 cos 60 degree and the vertical component is 6 sin 60 degree now after resolving the forces i can write them one by one so after 2 newton 3 cos 30 is acting towards right so positive similarly 4 cos 60 towards right positive 5 newton is a purely vertical force that won't be considered in summation fx next 6 cos 60 acting towards left so minus after adding up all the values the answer comes out to be 3.60 newton since it is positive the total effect is towards right then in a similar manner summation fy needs to be calculated and in this upward forces are positive downward forces negative so therefore here we have 3 sin 30 acting upwards so plus 4 sin 60 acting upward so plus then 5 newton is this vertical force and we have 6 sin 60 acting upward so when i add up all the values my answer comes out to be for summation fy 15.16 newton and since it is positive it means it is acting in the upward direction now after getting it we can find the magnitude of resultant by using the formula it is r is equal to root of summation fx square plus summation fy square summation fx was 3.60 summation fy 15.16 so after calculating this the answer comes out to be 15.58 newton so that's the first answer next the location of resultant theta is equal to tan inverse of mod of summation fy upon summation fx so that is tan inverse summation fy is 15.16 summation fx 3.60 so after calculating this theta value comes out to be 76.64 degree with respect to the horizontal that's the second answer and now 
Remember, whenever we are putting the value of summation f x or summation f y while calculating this angle, it needs to be positive. So here I have put mod sign, and then finally the resultant can be located. Here we have plus x axis <coughs> minus x plus y minus y. Now, since in this case both summation f x and f y are positive, it means the resultant would be in the first quadrant. Having an angle of seventy six point six four degree with respect to horizontal, and no need to measure the exact angle because this is not a graphical method; it is analytical. The angle should look proportionate. So we can draw an approximate angle, and that is R is equal to the value of resultant fifteen point five eight newton, having an angle of seventy six point six four degree with respect to the horizontal. now the meaning is in this problem of hexagon in order to replace all the forces which are given here a single force is sufficient which is called as the resultant force whose effect total effect would be to try to pull the body along its direction and that was the problem regarding the resultant force at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends Thanks for watching